so hi this is a pretty uh, amazing thing what I am going to show you now I will also put a little the theory of this in a second so let's first open it and then we will see what is inside and then I will give you the theory of this one so this is basically a, a DC to DC uh, not very special but this DC to DC uh, get a high voltage out so how much high voltage I will explain how this is working and we have here if you will see we have one two three four six seven diodes one two three four six seven diodes and we have one two three one two and we have seven diodes and we have six capacitors okay maybe I will do a part of the theory not exactly for this build and I will explain how this works but basically we have a coil here and then we have all the, the diode and the capacitor so what is going on the input for this is, is about I think between a, the input is between I'm almost sure I am not wrong between 3 to maybe 10 volt or something like this and the output output is between 400 volt to 1000 volts so how can you get and by the way the, the output is DC so this is DC and this is DC although of course we have a coil and the coil doesn't work in DC so the coil is of course working in AC so how, how the coil is working so basically what we are doing here is we are doing this we have uh, the first uh, uh, the, the coil of the input and we have the coil of the output of course and what we are doing when we are uh, doing high voltage of course we have to apply pulses we, we are doing pulses to this coil and uh, the pulses uh, time and frequency and uh, uh, the coil uh, the coil ratio is doing the voltage output let's do an example so it will be more understandable so if the, the coil is about 100 to 1 meaning on the interest I have one a uh, one uh, round of the coil and to each one round I have 100 to the output so the voltage out basically will be a uh, 100 times the voltage here means it means that if I'm putting on the inside one volt peak to peak so the output will be 100 volt peak to peak and this is this is not exactly the same number because the coil is never 100 efficient it's usually uh, between uh, let's say uh, 80 to 94 or 95 percent efficient so do the calculation it will be a little less than 100 volt <clears throat> but basically what you're doing uh, you're transferring a, a, a by the way usually the okay so <laughs> I will not I don't want to uh, explain it let's say too complicated but usually the best way is to transfer shine wave and to get shine wave out but because this circuit uh, they are doing it very cheap so it is not a shine wave and usually they are a square a square wave and not a shine wave or, or modified square wave or not exactly square wave but the best is to have a shine wave so a shine wave and then we have the ratio between the input and the output and if this is not enough and then we want to transfer it to DC output so by the way this potentiometer gets uh, the voltage change when you are changing it so you, you are uh, changing the voltage of the output and this is probably by uh, changing, uh, 
changing this uh, 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 square wave input ratio or changing uh, the voltage of uh, the coil input and then for, for the output we want to get a DC so now let's concentrate of how I am changing 100 uh, volt DC to let's say a 3 or 4 or 5 times higher which means 500 volt DC I mean 100 volt AC to 500 volt DC or 10,000 volt DC and I will now explain how the second way works so uh, it goes something like this so we have the output and then we are putting a capacitor and the capacitor by the way is connected with a diode that is going like this and this is going to the input and then we have another diode that is going in this direction and we have all the diode that we want to connect and now let's see how all this go into DC output so I will just uh, do an example and by my uh, uh, drawing you can understand that you can continue and put more diode and more capacitors and now let's a uh, little go to the theory so these capacitors are uh, non-polarity capacitors okay so uh, this is the, by the way the output of the coil so the, the coil uh, the output coil with the 100 volt is here so let's say we have 100 volts here so let's see what happens so first this capacitor by uh, the diode is charged and because uh, the plus is going this is the plus side and, and it's reflecting the positive wave so this capacitor will be charged this will be the plus and this will be the minus let's consider this as a ground point or our reference point uh, of zero volts so now if you uh, uh, if you see maybe I will make do the focus a little better on my nice drawing yes okay so what, what we can see now is that this capacitor is already charged let's say the diode is ideal so it is charged to 100 volts so now we have a constant 100 volts it's, it's take a few pulses till it is charged and now we have a 100 volt oscillating like a shine wave and a 100 volt here so basically we have 200 volts now and the 200 volts are going through this diode so this capacitor is now chain, uh, charging to 200 volts and this will be the plus of this one and this will be the minus because of, uh, of the anode and the cathode of the diode the current flow of course in this way when it is on the positive side and uh, and it is going all the way so it is going also through this diode same direction and uh, we can understand from this uh, drawing that, that I made that it is going to the uh, uh, first diode and again the current is going plus and minus okay and uh, now uh, by the way, on this direction, uh, it is going a uh, minus and plus. Okay, again because of uh, of the diode direction, so each uh, a cathode is putting the plus to to the capacitor to be charged. So this is charged like this way. All the other capacitor, by the way, will be charged to 200 volts. Uh, uh, in this uh, method yes uh, yes it's all uh, 200 volts after thinking about it now I will explain uh, why because when when this is on the positive way so this diode is uh, open and also this one at the same time so at the same time I have 
200 volt to this side of the capacitor and 200 volt to this side and on the other way when it is a, a, let's say it's not positive it is negative so this diode is going on the other way and this diode is going on the other way and then we have a, exactly a, here 200 volt also okay we have exactly 200 volt why because this is already charged and this 200 volts going so this diode so this is charged to 200 volt what is going after all this mess that we have now if we will look just at the lower part so we have now look what we have we have a ground and then we have one capacitor and then we have the second capacitor but look how they are, are a charge this one uh, the minus is on the reference side so we have the minus and the plus in this one we have also minus and the plus so if we will measure from this point consider to to the reference between this point we are always uh, measuring voltage between two points so we will have 200 plus two to 200 volts so we will have 400 volt respect to the ground okay so we came from 100 volt ac to 400 volt dc so this is how it works now of course one important thing to be aware of this is not a voltage going nowhere without an energy so we have an energy energy input and energy output in the ideal mode are the same so how this goes i would give an example so if i'm going from let's say a, a 10 volts to 1000 volts so of course the ratio is is 100 so if the ratio is 100 so if let's say uh, my input current my input current is 1 amp so the current so I will have 1000 volts but the current output will be 100 divided by a 1 amp, 1 ampere divided by 100 so I will have only 10 milliamps out so th this is how uh, how it goes in terms of a uh, current so I have a higher voltage but I have a lower current so we are talking about uh, the total power consumption or the total watt so it's a uh, per watt so I have the watt so I have a, a low voltage uh, input with high current and then I have a high voltage output with low current so this is basically how it goes so uh, what do i need it for so basically you need all these things for the things that need high voltage for example if you have let's say a, i don't know a 300 volt led that you want to light up with battery so this can be uh, the tool for you of course, uh, uh, because it is limited by the maximum current, so probably you will not burn your LED. But you have to make sure that the LED current is suitable for the current out that you will get from this one. And now we will do a very quick uh, connection of this one to power. And I'm curious to see the voltage. And don't forget, the voltage is high and dangerous. Although the current is low, you can electrify a... a and it is not very nice uh, probably you will not die from it but uh, it's not nice to get a very high voltage out so let's connect it and see how it works and if it works okay so now everything is connected uh, again be careful because this is high voltage if you are checking it yourself the input is now 5 volt the output is connected directly to the DVM and now I will uh, apply 5 volts and pack the voltage is 740 volt gosh 
I don't want to touch it, but I want to see how the potentiometer changes the voltage. As you can see, you get to 1000 volts. 1000 volts. Let's see the minimum. The minimum is 300 volts with 5 volts. Let's see if I change it to 6 volts, probably it will be higher. So changing to 6 volts and you see 334, let's change to 3 volts. On 3 volts I have 183 volts out. Wow, this is a lot. And on 3 volts let's see the maximum voltage I can get. Ah, this was the maximum. So the maximum with 3 volts in one, 184 volts. I will go to 4 volts. On 4 volts, 247. And on 5 volts, it was 300 volts. And this is the maximum. I thought it was higher. No, this was the minimum, sorry. So on 5 volts, I have over 1000 volts. Let's go to 4 volts. It was the, minor, the minimum voltage. Also on 4 volts, so I will go to 3 volts. On 3 volts, again I get... Ah no, it, it just fell to, to get to the maximum. So let's say it's 4 volts. But I can get easily to to a uh, thousand volts. No, not easily. So on five volts. On five volts we can get to thousand volts. If I get get to this model five volts, I can get <laughs> one thousand volts out, which of course is a lot. So this is how it works, hope you enjoy, thank you and have a good day, bye.